Hi, my name's Jason from Ball Interiors Home and Garden. I hope you're all well. Today I want to talk to you about smart locks. What is a smart lock? There's so much out there. There's locks that replace your whole handle, some that just replace the cylinder in your door. Uh, there's just so much. Some that you need uh, keypads, fingerprint technology, swipe cards, clickers. It's really, really, really confusing. We recently had a situation where a family member lost a key to the front door and we had to scrabble around, get back so that they could get in the house. And I thought to myself, there's got to be a better solution here. There's got to be something that I can fit and remotely fire a mobile phone, send them a digital key. Sounds good, doesn't it? There is. There's lots of products in the market and the market is swamped and there are all sorts of different prices. So. Today, I wanted to give you a review of a product called the Bold Smart Lock. If you like the video, please hit the bell, wherever that is, and subscribe to Ball Interiors Home and Garden, and we'll be bringing you lots more videos soon. Thank you, much appreciated. Bold is a company from the Netherlands. Uh, they It's their only product. They produce this Smart Lock and a Connect item and some other peripherals that go with it. Uh, but today I want to talk to you about that one. I've managed to pick up one here. This is a bundle. This has the main lock, which replaces your Euro cylinder and an item called the Bold Connect. Now, this retails at £199, okay? The software you get for free, uh, either on your Android or, or iPhone. Um, and you can buy just the cylinder replacement, which is the main item, which is the lock that you need to uh, open and close your door. And this item can be sold separately. Now, I was a bit confused about this item here. I thought you might, because this says it you know, connects to Wi-Fi, etc. I thought you might need this to do remote locking and unlocking. However, as it turns out, you don't need it. You don't need this item. So for £199 is a package. This item on its own is £169. So I paid the extra 30 quid, got this, thinking that I needed it. Truth is, I don't really need it. So, as it turns out, that button is really, really important. I thought it was just a big remote button and I was about to go off and tell you that this is a big, remote button that you could maybe have in your shed or you know in your garage and and unlock the door for people when they come around if you haven't got your phone however as it turns out with a little bit more investigation and you'll see from the rest of the video that i'm really quite confused as to what it is until the end it turns out it is a bridge it's a ultimately it's a bridge between your wi-fi and the uh, lock so you have it in that set in the house it talks to your lock so when you are completely remote, um, you know, you're, you're away from the house, you're at work and somebody pops around, you can still access the lock uh, using your mobile phone. And uh, yeah, it, it's just got so much more function in the software when you have that additional uh, item. I still, for the rest of the video, like I say, I keep calling it the big button, but yeah, it's quite important. So listen on. So I'm a little bit confused as to what this is. I'm, when we un unbox this and when I start setting up, maybe there's some functions of this that uh, that, that are gonna surprise me. I, I, I don't know, um, so we'll see. But I am very, very excited about unboxing this and seeing what it does, uh, setting up the software, seeing how easy that is to do. And then later in this video, I will install both of these uh, and put it to the test. And at the end of the video, I'll give it a mark out of 10. Okay, so let's get this bad boy unboxed and see what it does. So here we go. Let's unbox this uh, this bold smart lock and see what we get. So let's have a look here. Okay, so two boxes inside. We have the button. I really don't know what else to call that. It It's the big button, okay? We'll find out more, I'm sure. Empty box and the cylinder itself, okay. 
Well, first of all, the most important part of this is the cylinder. So let's have, let's just quickly open that. They're very well packaged, I must say. Very nice sort of brand packaging. Slides out of here. Now, here we go. So again, I've got another label I need to cut through. Uh, careful I don't cut my fingers here. Okay, so here we go. An instruction manual, which looks like, looks pretty simple, very straightforward. As I said, we'll go through the setup and installation shortly. And this is the, this is one of those, this is one of those little things that you take out and actually never read because it's all the small print and um, it's gonna tell me nothing that I really sort of need to know about the installation, etc. And then we have, oh, this is this part of it is a is a little box which has inside the Euro cylinder spacers. Now, what they are is the standard Euro cylinder that this comes with. This is the SX33, um, that which will fit most uh, sort of UK standard um, cylinder locks. These extend that, so if on the outside of your lock you need a spacer, these will just extend that. You may have, on the outside of your lock, you may have some kind of um, uh, sort of crowning on the outside of the, the cylinder, um, which uh, protrude, makes the cylinder protrude further or, or, or maybe inset, and you can add these. But generally speaking, this should fit most out of the box. Okay, it's lovely, lovely made by the looks of it. Looks a nice quality, nice quality stainless steel. That's the external switch. That's the internal knob mechanism. Just pop those to one side for a minute and we'll have a look at the, I'm intrigued, I must say, I am absolutely intrigued to, uh, to know a bit more about this, the big button. Okay, in the box is the connect. It's actually not very big, but well, it's big enough. It's a big for a button, but, and it has two slots on the back, which I would imagine you would screw, put your screws in the wall, and you can literally stick that in the wall in your shed or your garage or your office or wherever you want a big unlock button, because that's technically what it is. Again, the blurb that nobody ever reads. Uh, with the CE markings and the installation guide, which is telling me that ultimately, once you've screwed it to the wall and you've put the power on, it is simply a big button. Please, please surprise me. I will see when we set this up as to what that does further. And then inside here we have Lots of different size, um, I would imagine European and international plugs. And the UK one, which should, I would imagine, snap on somehow. Ah, I was doing it upside down. There we go. So that's, uh, and it also comes with the uh, the USB. The USB-C is the one end that fits. Uh, ah, okay, that's intriguing. So um, it's a US standard USB that fits into the charger itself. And the bold item have gone for the new USB-C supply. Which is good because most things nowadays are going USB-C. Okay. So what I'm going to have to do now is just flip over because I'm going to use the phone that is currently making this video to install the software and uh, set the lock up. And then following that, we'll install it. So I've just downloaded the Bold Smart Lock app from the App Store. I'm just going to press the 
in the top right hand corner there's a little cross i'm going to press that and add the cylinder lock now i've got to press and hold the button on screen and on the cylinder lock which you can't see for five seconds and then it begins to connect it's connected and now i'm going to name it i'm simply going to name this front door because that's where it's going i don't want to really put any more information on it it is the front door so just name that and go on to the next part it's now asking me to update the firmware this is really important you need to update the firmware straight away and keep it updated so that you can get the latest functions from the lock and the software and it's all working hunky dory i'm pretty sure the firmware will fix any bugs that the lock may have so we'll just install that seems to be going quite quickly so as soon as that's installed there we go that's up to date and you can't see again the cylinder lock has just literally just restarted so if we press the button on the screen the lock has just unlocked and it unlocks for 10 seconds you can change that and then it locks itself again i've just pressed it again unlock for 10 seconds and then it, that at the end of that it locks again as i say you can change that to any length of time you like um, some of the other options here we can go into the screen you can add users just got myself listed there at the moment you can add users and you can set all sorts of permissions for these users see there add or invite a user okay you can also add extra peripherals for instance the big button and little clickers uh, and then you've got a an admin screen where you can set all sorts of different things you set your pin um, you can set uh, a perimeter uh, it's got auto activation in there you'll see it's set to off you can set that to on so that when you're walking within a 200 meter radius of your home it will automatically unlock don't like the sound of that but i suppose it's a function if you you know coming back you're locking your car up you got your hands full uh, you want to just walk up to your door um, if you do that on a regular basis then that makes that nice and easy uh yeah lots of settings we could go into that all day long uh but let's uh, let's crack on and let's install the lock so here we are ready to install the bold smart lock cylinder okay this is the bold sx 33 uh, which fits most euro cylinders in the uk as i said before they do do various sizes and you've also got some little shim spaces in there to add to them if you want to make them wider if you've got a wider door or if you've got a little bit little things like this these crowns can make that lock cylinder wider okay so first of all what do we need to take the cylinder out sometimes you need to put the put the key and align it from the outside uh, i'm not sure whether i'm gonna have to do that yet but i've got the key here i've also got the cylinder lock and the tools that i need so I don't think I'm going to need any of the spacer shims, but I do need that little hexagon key, Allen key. So here we go. First of all, we need to take off the outside handle, which we do like a so. Like so. Okay, and then we line that up. That's ready to install. We're gonna open the door. My trusty cameraman just comes around this way a little bit. Just zooms in on that. As you can see, on the outside as well, my Euro cylinder protrudes by about three millimeters. So I'm gonna take away the retaining screw. and slide out. This is an Altian lock, by the way, very secure. And while we're at, on the subject of security, the Bolt Smart Lock is secure, and where is it? It meets the SKG3 standard. Okay, so it's an extremely secure lock, and the software has a very high level of security. However, one thing I have noticed is when you actually install the software and match it up with the lock, if you choose to use the backup pin, then it does give you a message that it is no longer SKG secure.
Okay, let's install. So as it turns out, I am gonna need a small spacer. Okay, just to show that how this li these little spacers work, because I'm gonna need that little tiny spacer on the outside of there. If we just come in and here a little bit, again, using the same Allen key that we need to fit it, we just go on the underside and we loosen up the internal there, so that that tiny little piece fits nicely inside. Needs a little bit more loosening. And that should fit nice and neat. And then you can tighten that back up. Okay, what that's done now is that's given me a little bit more space on the outside because as you can see, we've got the little crown on the outside also. So if I just line that up, slip that through, you can see that that spacer on the outside has given me that bit, little bit more wiggle room. And at that point, I can fit the retaining screw. There's a very long retaining screw. Got that nice and tight. It's moving nicely on that side. And then the knob or handle, whatever you want to call it, goes back on the outside. Now you'll see on the inside of the handle, this little recess and then the little grub screw. That grub screw has to fit into that little groove there nice and tight. So push that on firm. you've got a set of keys, it might be better to use a longer one so you can get in there. Okay, so it's all fitted on the outside. Just gonna give that one more little tweak so we're nice and tight. Okay, so on the outside, that's the knob you'd use to open the door. And on the inside, you can see that's the knob you use to reopen the door. Okay, or to lock. Once it's locked, that then locks both internal and external. Okay, and to unlock it as normal, you'll see it just flashed red. So that is now unlocked. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna go outside and test the app. When you open the app, the big button in the middle that's the button you press to unlock the door. So as soon as you press it, you'll see the little green circle gives you, this one's set at 10 seconds, gives you 10 seconds and then relocks. The, you'll see the lock flash red. Again, press it, you'll see it flashes green. 10 seconds, that's open at that point and then flashes red, it's locked again. So as you can see, that's really, really quite simple to fit. Very straightforward, didn't take long at all. Bit of messing around with the little shim because I needed a bit more length on the outside. But other than that, very, very straightforward. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna test locking it from the outside. And then also I'm gonna test, I'll set a backup pin on this. I've set the backup pin at 21212. I am gonna change that. I'm not gonna leave it like that because I don't want you to rob my house. So I might remove the pin altogether, but for the demonstration purposes, 21212, use it like a safe and let's see if that works. Okay, let's go outside and test this. Okay, this door, actually one, one point, this door has got little hooks top and bottom that automatically lock the door when I close it. Okay, so that door is now locked. That is doing nothing. Okay, so I'm just gonna get the app. Open the bolt app. Okay, and I'm just gonna press the unlock. As soon as that green thing comes on, I can open it. As soon as the green thing disappears, it relocks itself. So you get 10 seconds. You can change that from 10, 20, 30, and so on. You can also do it so that within 200 meters of your property, it can automatically unlock. Okay, 
Let's have a look at this pin. The door is again locked. Okay, I'm gonna use the pin. Remember, it's two, one, two, one, two. So, to the right, it's clockwise. One, two, one. One, two, one. One, two. And it bleeped from the inside and it unlocked. So you can also use a backup pin. So if there is no battery, that backup pin will still work. Okay, so let's, uh, let's finalize this. It's looking good so far. Let's, let's review it out of 10. One. Okay, so I've now connected the big button to the Wi-Fi, to my internal Wi-Fi at the house, where the uh, new lock is fitted, the bold uh, door lock is fitted. And what I've realized is, it isn't just a big button. It's, it's a lot more than just one big button, okay? So what this actually is, is when you press this, it doesn't really seem to do anything. It makes the same noises, as if it's unlocking or locking the door for 10, unlocking the door for 10 seconds. However, what this does is this is almost like a bridge, like you get with the Hue, Philips Hue lighting, it's a bridge. So this bridge is between my router and the door lock. So on my phone here, I've turned off Wi-Fi and I've turned off Bluetooth. So this phone can no longer talk to the lock. So this is almost, I'm trying to replicate, I'm not anywhere near the house, I might be at work or, 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 or anywhere or on a walk, somebody comes around to the house, with the bridge plugged in, I click the unlock button and it says remote activation, lock will be activated remotely, are you sure? Activate, and the door lock has just unlocked, and after 10 seconds locked again. So what I'm doing there is, for example, if a family member brings me some cake and says, I'm at your house with some cake, I can press the button remotely, activate, let them in with said cake, and they can let themselves out again. Not that family members ever bring me cake, it would be nice if they did. In fact, if anybody wants to bring me cake, please do so. But that is it, it's not a big button. Okay, it is a bridge function. So it's actually for the extra 30 quid that this is in the package, because on its own, this is 99 pounds. But in this whole package, that was an extra 30 quid for what it is and having that remote access. Let's say your cleaner's turned up, you've got a package at the door and you're out and you need somebody needs to uh, drop it in the house or just inside the front door, then you can unlock your door remotely and it automatically locks itself again. So well worth the extra 30 quid there and I apologize for laughing that this was just a button because it isn't. Anyway, we'll finalize this review. I'll, uh, I'll bring the boxing back and uh, we'll just, I'll just give you a recap. Okay, just to recap, you've just watched the video, our video from Ball Interiors on the Bold Smart Lock SX33. We've uh, had a brief, giving you a brief synopsis. We've unboxed it, we've installed it, we've tested a little bit and played around with the app. Let me know what you think. Please leave a comment below. Also hit the bell thing and uh, subscribe to Ball Interiors Home and Garden. And uh, yeah, just your thoughts would be uh, much appreciated. So what are my thoughts? What do I think? Personally, I think price-wise, this package at uh, £199 is, is good. It's a good price. Um, I was, as I said before, you can buy this uh, Euro cylinder and lock mechanism on its own for £169. But I think for the extra 30 quid, this Connect and having the um, amount of functions that you get to manage the lock remotely uh, could be extremely valuable to some people. I love it. I think it's great. You know, I think uh, I would use that in the future and I think it is good. It doesn't actually stop you just having this lock and using the app 
um, to give access to uh, friends and family or whoever, whoever you need to give access to. They do then need to download the app and that you ought to need to set permissions. You can set permissions for uh, an hour a day or, you know, always have access, um, you know, temporarily have access, etc., etc. There's lots. Of, I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty of the app. There's loads to discuss and, and, and you'll work it out for yourself, to be honest. I'm not that great myself with it so you know that i've got to do a lot of, a lot more learning um but the package itself this bit it just adds that extra functionality and it is good it is good so what of us what are my thoughts um as i say price excellent good to excellent the quality of the product itself is superb it really is uh, the stainless steel the finish uh, when it's fitted it's nice and firm and rigid and, you know all the, the knobs feel right it's good uh very very easy to install Okay, uh, security wise, security is excellent. As I'd said before, if you do set the pin, uh, then you are lowering the standard of, uh, of security that you have. Somebody that could walk up to the house and guess the, guess the rotations, but you know, the chances of them doing that are extremely slim. But you know, you are, you are setting yourself at a higher risk. Um, aesthetics, you know, not only the packaging, but the product itself, superb, can't, can't fault it. Uh, on the con side, I think the lack of technical information for this product, um, especially the Connect item here, uh, you know, I, I know the, the company's from the Netherlands, uh, but uh, here in the UK, couldn't find a great deal of information uh, about exactly what this does and had to kind of work it out for myself. Um, it wasn't difficult to work out, but it would be nice to have more detail and more reasoning as to why you would you would add this to your to your purchase and not just buy this on its own. Um, so yet yeah, the lack of uh, technical information online and in the box uh, regarding uh, the the whole setup of, of of these items together could be improved. So on that basis, out of ten. My mark is 8.5, that is very high. I, I think that's an excellent score, 8.5. You know, it's gonna take a lot of beating. Um, so again, let me know what you think. If you've got one of these as well, comment below. Uh, let me let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought about the installation, etc. And if you've got any questions, again, comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. So in a nutshell, 8.5 out of 10 for the Bold Smart Lock SX33. Excellent score. Go out and buy one. Speak soon. Bye-bye. Please hit the bell. Subscribe to the channel. Ball Interiors Home and Garden will bring you more videos. I hope you like this one. We can get as technical as you like or keep it as simple as you like. Uh, give us some comments. Let us know what your thoughts are. And uh, we hope to see you soon. Stay safe.